am Teresa. <laughs> I'm Brandon. This is Winston. And this is our home. We just wanted to take the opportunity to give you a little glimpse into our lives and get to know us a little better. This is the newest addition to our family. This is Winston. He's almost a year old and he's very restless and puppyish. Uh, we've had him for about five months and uh, he has been quite the fun and exciting and uh, chewing addition to our family. Where uh, you'll see him running around in the backyard and playing and we also wanted to show you um, some of our friends and our family and just some of the things that we like to do and some of the things that we're involved with. So thank you for taking this opportunity to get to know us a little better. So this is where our nursery will be. We actually don't have a nursery set up yet, but we're waiting to find out if it's a boy or a girl. So if it's a girl, the girl will be in this room. And this is the bear that my mom bought for the baby. She said she wanted it to be the baby's first present, and so it's an angel bear to watch over the baby. <laughs> if it's a boy, I envision this being a sports a car or an animal theme. And so we will have lots of fun boy things in here for the boy to uh, play with. Everybody wave. I can't get far enough away. Hi, everyone. Hi. Well, what do you what do you do every night? Pray. For who? Mr. Rice and Mr. Brand. Because why? They can have a baby. Do you pray every night for them? Uh-huh. Really? Hi there. I met Teresa after we lost our daughter. And um, Teresa, in the midst of her longing and waiting for a baby, reached out to me last year and encouraged me more times than I can count. Teresa and Brandon are the type of people that you truly feel privileged to know and be friends with. Um, they're they are so deeply desiring a child to welcome into their home and in the midst of their waiting they continue to engage in life with so much joy oh, like um teresa and brandon were designed to be parents all you have to do is watch the way that they um, interact with other people and you quickly see how much love they have for others and I've often thought that if they love uh, that other people that much, I cannot imagine how much they're going to love their own children.